While stabilizing China's internal affairs, the government was also actively responding to outside pressures and combating Western sanctions. On June the 5th, 1989, President George H.W. Bush announced the introduction of five categories of sanctions against China. By this time, the U.S. Congress had passed more than 20 motions that represented direct interference in China's domestic affairs. Chinese Foreign Minister Chen Qi-chen would later write that in just over a month, the U.S., Japan, European Community, and G7 countries had all agreed to suspend high-level interaction with China. They would also stop weapon sales and prevent international financial institutions from granting any new loans to China. Citing issues of human rights, several Western nations imposed sanctions on China. The deteriorating relationship with the West would seriously hamper China's continued opening up. Deng Xiaoping's response to the pressure from the Western countries was firm. China is the last country on Earth to fear blockades, isolation, and sanctions, he said. If you take a look at China, you'll see that most of its growth since its founding has been achieved under global sanctions. He went on to say with a smile, we may not be good at anything else, but we're excellent at fighting sanctions. These little tricks of yours won't get to us.